Good night, everyone. Good Where night. Are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever mentioned that I'm blind. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It is 8.33 a.m. and I am barely awake. Happy to be with you today. Today, I am gonna show you what like a general kind of productive work day in my life is like an at-home work day, not when I'm on the road, but like an at-home work day, what kind of goes on. A lot of you guys have wanted to know when I mentioned like how many people I have working with me and stuff like that. You're always very curious about kind of the behind the scenes business of, you know, running a social media, public speaking, consulting business. And so I thought I would show you some of that today. Um, so I woke up at 6 a.m. to feed the dogs because both of their paws were wandering around making that sound. Hi. So the boys woke me up at 6 a.m. I fed both of them. And at that point, my mom decided to get up, which is usually when she gets up. I feed the boys, but she usually gets up at that time. And then I usually go back to bed. Sometimes I'll just lay there and scroll on TikTok. Boys, boys, boys. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. I went back to bed. Sometimes I just scroll on TikTok until I want to get up and sometimes I fall back to sleep. Today I fell back to sleep until 7.45 and then I scrolled on TikTok and then I got out of bed like 15, 20 minutes ago and just um, changed into this comfy sweatsuit for the dog walk and breakfast. I did my skincare. I just did water. I did a Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner, and then I did number seven lift illuminate cream, day cream with SPF, very important, and deodorant, also very important. Brushed my hair, and that's where we're at. I have not brushed my teeth because I'm gonna eat first. I'm having, my mother oh so kindly made me a breakfast sandwich. It's a sourdough English muffin with egg, bacon, tomato, anything else? Mm. Put a little hot sauce in it. Mm hmm. I've been craving hot sauce and you love hot sauce and candy. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> hot sauce and candy. <laughs> um, mix. They're both unusual for me. Uh, and then I'm having lemon water. I always start the day with lemon water. And if you're not a coffee drinker, you don't drink caffeine and you need to get the bowels going, I present you lemon water. Hot huh, lemon water in the morning, girl, you're in that bathroom. Lickety split. So very handy um and we don't have like a coffee machine here so my only option is to go out to starbucks oh what a shame actually <laughs> i've been going to a local spot lately supporting local which i feel very good about and it's closer to me than starbucks at this location and it's really really high quality yummy stuff but today i just really need a nitro cold brew i haven't had starbucks in a really long time and I'm very tired and I have a lot of stuff to get done. I feel like I have a hair on my head. So Can I need- be a lavender hair. I think so. A little lavender. So after, yeah, after I eat, we're going to throw our jackets on, walk the dogs. We need to pick up more lemons because this is the last one. And we need to get coffee. They're actually right next to each other. Then I have my first meeting at 10 a.m. And I will probably be doing my makeup on the meeting given timing. We'll see. So I'm going to eat so we can get going. So we took the dogs to Starbucks. I got a nitro cold brew with sweet cream, grande. So this will last me probably two to three days. And then um, I'm just gonna wait here and my mom is gonna go run to the grocery store to grab some lemons and maybe some paper towel. Yes. Um, because Gallup can't go in. So I'm just gonna wait out here with both of the boys. So they don't get lonely. I mean, Ben wouldn't get lonely. He'd come with me if I went, but you know what I mean. I don't want Gallup to get lonely. So I'm just gonna wait out here with both of them. Okay, so we are back just on time. Got my coffee here. Oh my God, it's just so good. Um, I have my makeup, my makeup brushes, my hairbrush, and I'm literally gonna do my makeup while I'm on my Google Meet call. It's just one of my team members and I will hop on the call right now. And then after I'll tell you guys what what this call is about. Okay, bye. I'm like, I'm like the, the assistant to Kelly and Demi. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Are, are you enjoying the role so far? I know we're kind of a crazy team. Crazy team is a, a very much so an understatement. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's, it's what makes great. us work, though, you know? You'll learn. It's what makes the, the craziness is what makes it all go round. Okay, so I just got off the call with a new team member to my management's team who's helping me hire a new team member for my team. 
and my mom and I just rearranged our day today and tomorrow so things are a little shuffled from what we originally were expecting to do today. Originally I was going to be doing a TikTok for Too Faced. Too Faced has been one of my favorite beauty brands for a really long time because I love the fact that all of their packaging is super tactile, their stuff is very scented, like it's a really multi-sensory experience using Too Faced makeup compared to other brands which for me as a blind person gives me like an extra layer to enjoying the process of putting on makeup and as you guys know no I can't see what I look like I don't use makeup to enhance my confidence because to be honest one of the blessings of not seeing myself is I generally feel just as confident without my makeup on as I do when I put it on but for me doing makeup is a form of self-care a form of self-expression it's art it's just something I genuinely love to do um, and I've really struggled to break my way into the beauty and fashion industry. They're industries that have historically been very exclusive. Um, and it's really exciting because I have had two major breakthroughs this month with the beauty industry. And it's honestly kind of like overwhelming. Um, I almost, I feel like I'm kind of like in shock. Like it's hard for me to process what's happened and I'm super honored and extremely grateful but I'm also definitely struggling with imposter syndrome a little bit feeling like I don't necessarily like deserve these honors that have been given to me um so in the March edition of Allure magazine which is like the world's biggest beauty magazine I was named one of 19 people who are changing the face of the beauty industry which is like literally insane because like Millie Bobby Brown and Selena Gomez are on that list and then there's me and I'm like was a mistake made like I'm super honored and I like this like it's just, it's just crazy um and it's really cool because of those 19 two of us are blind there's also Sam Latif who I've actually worked with um with the Herbal Essence tactile markers so that's really cool. And then also this month for International Women's Day, I was honored by Too Faced. They selected 100 women that exemplif exemplify what they consider to be lady bold. Um, and uh, those 100 women include like A-list celebrities and pop stars and models and um, makeup artists and designers and to be put on that list by one of my favorite brands. Um, is pretty crazy and on top of that they've only selected one of those 100 to be like the face of the campaign and they selected me of all people and yeah it's just like pretty overwhelming I'm extremely humbled and I don't know I literally I've talked about this like on my patreon live stream I've talked about this before with other people and every time I feel like a little bit emotional about it like it's just it's taken a lot to get here and I just am honored that we got here um and honestly, like all the work I do in this space is not to try to get like recognition for myself. And so it almost feels weird that 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 I'm getting that because that's not really the point of what I'm trying to get across here. I'm trying to get across to the beauty industry and to industries in general that like people who you think might not be able to contribute to the conversation maybe actually can. And that beauty and fashion don't have to just be about like shallow vein like looking good it can be about self-care and self-expression and art that um we need more representation in these industries that we need more accessible packaging and design in these industries so it feels weird that like i don't know i'm getting this recognition but i'm super grateful that i am so i was going to film the two-faced tiktok today for that campaign but I've decided to switch it to tomorrow. So we just made some appointments to get ready for that, which I'm very excited about. They've requested um, pink, red, or neutrals. So we are kind of selecting outfit. We're using my pink backdrop for that. Very excited. I thought it could be interesting to kind of share a bit about like the behind the scenes, which is why I wanted to make this video. Um, this is kind of like a work day in the life when I'm working at home. Um, which are the hardest days with Ben because we have to try to work walks into the day. Whereas when I'm just working out and about doing stuff, um, he's naturally getting his walks via working out and about. But today I might refilm another TikTok that I did. I pre-film a lot of my content as you guys know and I don't just create here on YouTube. I do two videos a week here and then I also do daily content on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and I'm getting into Snapchat if you want to follow me over there as well and I do work 
in social media, but I also do consulting work. I do commercial modeling and acting. Um, and then I also do public speaking. So there's lots of different facets to the work that I do on a daily basis. For example, today I'm gonna be reading a script for a movie that is interested in having me uh, play a blind character. Um, I'm potentially gonna act in it. I'm potentially gonna consult for them. I'm potentially gonna do both. Um, it's an ongoing discussion. So I'm kind of reading the script today making notes around the inaccuracies of this blind role that they've currently created. Uh, they're super open to feedback, which is really cool. Um, so we've got to read through that. Um, and then I also have a presentation. I'm speaking virtually to a group of blind youth. I speak to them um, about twice to three times a year. It's one of my favorite groups that I get to speak to. I just love chit chatting with um, young blind people. And um, so that's what I'm doing later today as well. Um, and I also just have some um, scripting and research to do for some future content that I'm working on and then today is Monday I post on Tuesdays and Fridays here so the days before I post my YouTube videos what I do is I send an email to Robin so Robin is has been my editor for a little over a year now but she also recently came on the team in a larger capacity um, she took over what Laura and Kaylee used to do um, they've moved on to other opportunities and I felt like really confident that Robin could step into this bigger role and we're so happy to have her and I don't know about you girl but I think it's going great oh I think it's going pretty well too <laughs> for all the killer bees watching this video Molly is wonderful to work for I really love it Robin now not only does the editing but she also does all of the back end that are involved with the uploading so she does my thumbnail designs um, she uploads the video, adds it to the playlist, does the description, the tagging, submits it to rev.com for the professional captioning. Um, and so the day before a video goes up, I send her an email and it has like the title of the video, what playlist I want it to go in, what tags I want it to have, just all the info she needs. I remind her if it's connected to any brands. So she needs to get that brand information from somebody from my management team named Kelly. Um, and I tell her what I want on the thumbnail for her to be able to design. So that's kind of what she does. And then we have my management, um, Reuven, who's been with me since I had 12,000 followers. He's been my biggest believer and supporter, and I absolutely wouldn't be where I am today without him. I'm incredibly grateful. Um, and then, of course, we have my mom, co-owner of the company extraordinaire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what was that little? <laughs> um, hmm. We um, me. <laughs> yes, we co-own two companies, one in Canada and one in America. Um, so we work kind of day to day. She answers a lots and lots of emails, thankfully, and reminds me when I'm missing replying to one. Um, and then of course films all the content and like I can't even list all the roles my mom does. Like <laughs> it's basically everything to make me function. Um, and then. Uh, my manager has an assistant named Kelly who we work with a lot. She's like basically the assistant for Reuven and all of the creators. She's incredible and truly the backbone of all of our businesses. And we wouldn't be where we are today without her either. Um, and then I have somebody who helps manage kind of the uh, images like on Instagram and stuff. So she will help we'll send her all the say Instagram photos and reels and IGTVs and she'll kind of organize it into like a list for the upcoming week of what is going to get posted on what day. So I know what's going up. She sends me a description of each photo. So I know which photo it is and then I will write the captions for them. So those are kind of all the different moving parts that I can think of. Um, and then we're currently um, hiring somebody else. Uh, a lot of the employees are part-time so they also have other jobs that they work on and then um the way reuven obviously reuven pays people the people on his team but reuven gets a commission so he makes a percentage from all of the work that i do so that's kind of how the behind the scenes works and the different moving parts because i know i've mentioned that i have team members and people are always interested to know about what those roles are obviously for a long time i didn't have anybody um, or just very few people. It's something that grew over time and I'm extremely, extremely grateful to have them because I definitely couldn't be doing what I do at the capacity that I am without 
every single person um, playing a role in making this work every single day. Oh, and my dad, my dad, like he, we definitely couldn't make it work without my dad because he's the one who pays everyone and who makes sure we get paid. He does all of the invoicing expenses. Um, he does all the tech. He is like, when my mom and I are like, what do we do? He's the one who's like, I'll tell you what to do. He's very like organized and on top of things. So he's definitely, definitely an integral part of the business. And I don't think he'd have it any other way. We're always, we always feel bad about it, but I, I also don't think dad would let us put this on anyone else. Do you mom? Pardon? <laughs> Sorry, I'm responding I, to an email. Yes, are you? Yes. I was saying, I don't think dad would let us have anybody else do the role he no, does. No, absolutely not. Yeah. No. <laughs> so sometimes we feel bad, but I also know that he loves being a part of the family business. He does. He and, loves it. Um, Very proud. Yeah. So my dad's awesome. He's always been the kind of man who's like really supportive of successful women and like really loves to see women thrive. Um, and I think he loves like playing a part in that for us. And I'm also super fortunate that I, I had a mom who was an entrepreneur my whole life. She always ran small businesses. And so my mom and dad were always like, I grew up always being told to not fear the unemployment rates in the blind community, like that I could always be an entrepreneur and they would always support me in taking that path. And like, I was always going to have options no matter what they would, they would make sure to make something work. And like, my mom would always tell me, if you can't find a job and there's nothing you you like like we'll start a we'll start a boutique you love fashion like we can start a boutique together downtown and you can like sell clothes and um i'm just really fortunate that my parents like always told me that i could be whatever i wanted and i could do whatever i wanted and they were always going to be there to support me in that and i know that not everybody has that and that is a way in which i have been very privileged um because no was like never you know, no or can't or don't, won't, shouldn't, like those weren't words my parents let me have in my vocabulary when it came to like my future. And I'm incredibly grateful to have them every step of the way still to this day with my business um, and everybody who plays a part. And none of this would be happening without all of you. So thank you guys. Um, as I said, I have tons of stuff I have to get done. I'm kind of happy that this Too Faced is off my plate for today and on for the plate for tomorrow because tomorrow is much more open. Today's quite tight. So I've blabbered on enough and I am going to get to it. Okay, so what my mom and I just did um, is she read me all the talking points in the brief for my Too Faced TikTok and then she ran out to pick us up some lunch, some Subway, I'm very excited. We pretty much always do home cooking, but today is just one of those days. Um, and she also, right next door to it, had to get pants hemmed because we are packing this week and getting ready to head back to LA. We have some events there that are very exciting. I'm walking in LA Fashion Week, which is insane, and I cannot wait. I'm walking for Tommy Hilfiger. And we also have a little intimate dinner with the 19 honorees from Allure. I don't know if Selena or Millie will be there, but here's hoping. Wow, that dog is really walking around the place with those clip cloppy nails. <laughs> um, so while my mom was doing that, I was kind of writing an outlined script for myself for Too Faced. And then I was also reading over all of the questions that I'm going to be going over with the group of blind youth later um, for my interview with them. And now I'm going to curl my hair and eat. I'm very hungry and I'm gonna curl my hair. I am new to curling my hair. This is only gonna be my third time doing it. This is linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. So I am going to use this for the third time ever and hopefully it ends up looking good. Here we're seeing some sped up footage of Molly curl her hair with, I believe it's pronounced the babalus. Got dressed for the day. I'm feeling super cute in my corduroy overalls, this sweater, and then these adorable boots. I don't know. I think it's a look. Um, and I'm doing my speaking, virtual speaking event. It's a one hour fireside chat, and that is going to start in like 25 minutes. So I'm going to take all my supplements. I have these pills, and then I have a bunch of liquids to take. I need that energy girl. Um, and we were also just like going over the Too Faced thing that I wrote. I have to hit a lot of points in under 60 seconds. So it's a lot. And I was also like playing with the lipsticks. They sent me like four lipsticks, all the same shades so that I had plenty to practice with and to kind of work with, um, which is very kind of them. And something I often do, but don't have time to do today is 
pre-film. I try to pre-film everything for all of my platforms. Um, so for example, I'll try to do a week's worth of TikToks in one day and a week's worth of Instagram photos in one day. And so what I do is I just change outfits. Like I'll just keep changing my top to make things look different. And then when my mom is uploading the TikTok to the drafts, I'm sending her all the hashtags that I want for that TikTok with the name of that TikTok in the heading of the email. So everything stays organized for us. That's that, I'm gonna go take these and set up for my event. Hey guys, thanks so much for having me back again. I'm really excited to chat with you. Boys, I've just put their food in their bowls and now I'm making them wait. Ready boys, vamos a We eat together. It's like the biggest race. It's such a ruckus, it's so loud. They do get fed. <laughs> Who's gonna finish first? Ben, Ben. Yeah? Ben's done. Ben gets a little less than Gallup, so. Yeah, that's true. Ben's shorter, he's smaller. You're a smaller boot, but still a good boot. Yeah, it's right. still going. Small, yeah. but good boot. There you go. The HelloFresh order came in, so that's dinner tonight. And after my, um, like zoom talk i just we were just doing like a bunch of administrative type of stuff emptying out the google drive all the boring things that just have to be done as a part of a business and then we put the coats on the boys we always have started taking their collars off now during the day when i'm filming so they don't make a ruckus um so we put their collars back on their coats on it's time to go for another walk right boys yeah let's go Ah, delicious dinner. Um, we re read through some of the script. It's 106 pages, so we're kind of doing it like in like 10 to 20 page chunks. Um, I like to have my mom read it. I could have just like my voiceover read it, but the thing with like something like a movie script is there's so many characters and so much tone and personality that shifts how you think of the script. So I prefer to have like a human voice reading it, but my mom gets sleepy. Oh God, do I ever. She always has. When I was younger, before I had like access to a ton of audiobooks with Audible, I would have her read me books, like the Click series. And I'd be so into it. And it'd be like one in the afternoon. And she'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> fall asleep. And that is true. No, but I want to know what's next. I'd be like, I'm so tired. It was so funny. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much the day. Um, we have worked the last two weekends and we're working this weekend and that used to be our normal, but it has not been for a long time and I don't know how we used to do it. No. Like I'm like, how was that normal for so many years? Like now I'm like, oh my God, this is exhausting to not, like it's creatively exhausting. I feel like it's hard to feel like confident about what I create when I'm like tired, you know? So I think that's a good lesson, but I also know that like in these moments when I'm really tired, I'm so lucky to be tired from doing something that I love and from being my own boss. And um, I'm so lucky that I have the ability to create my own hours um, and do what I love and support myself and other people by doing that. And um, I'm just so grateful to the team who supports me every single day. And I'm so grateful to all of you because you're the only reason that I every day get to do what I love. And when I started this journey on social media eight years ago almost, I absolutely did not expect that this would become my job. It's like, you know, at a certain point it became the dream. She's yawning <laughs> behind the camera. It's time for bed. Okay, I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. Give me a second. <laughs> Um, I'm in a human tripod <laughs> and I'm oh. shaky. <laughs> God. Of course, at some point along the journey, this became the dream was to make this happen. And like, even when it's your dream, you don't expect to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys. Yeah, looks the same. He's I like, just... oh, come on, wrap it up, mom, wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> I just <laughs> tried to have a nice sentiment at the end of the long day. No, it's time to. Stop. Hey everyone, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> now the cat's crying. <laughs> no, that was bad. <laughs> what? Yes. God. His head is in my arms right now. <laughs> like, tell her to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, you're being rude. You're all being rude. Who pays the bills around here? None of you. Do you two don't? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hello. 
Anyways, all I'm trying to say is I'm extremely... You up a bit. You're very dark. There. Okay, now that we've got the lighting. <laughs> Thank you, Neve. Our little videographer, plus, plus, plus many other jobs. Yeah, all I'm trying to say is just like, thank you for letting this be my day today. And no two days look the same, so this is just not really a representation of what every day looks like. It's just a representation of what today looks like. And I got a decent amount of work done that I needed to get done between speaking and meetings and script consulting and social media. Like, I kind of hit on all the different roles today in small chunks. So that was a day in my life, like, as a content creator plus the other things and yeah i don't know i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for being along on this journey you're the only reason i'm here so you're the best. sorry <laughs> what are you doing now? now he's on his back with his paws on his ear give me a hug give me a hug give me a hug give me a hug we old man get up who the old man get up who the old man get up good night everyone good where are you <laughs> I don't know if I've ever mentioned that I'm okay. blind. Okay, Lavender's up now. She wants to play next. Of course. Lavender always wants to At play. At 9 o'clock, she wakes up and she wants to play for about two hours. She's a needy girl. I literally will never understand people who say cats are independent because nay, nay. Lavender is the most Lavender. dependent creature I know. <laughs> Anyways, till next time, <laughs> click here to watch this breakup chit chat Q&A video. Or click over here to, I don't know, watch a different video that I posted recently. Love you guys.